Thank you for joining us. My name is Courtney Adniff, and I'm joined today by some friends and colleagues in the disability public policy field. To my left is Sarah. Sarah, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Sarah Harvey. I'm JP Holman. I'm Tanya Copeland. Can you, JP, talk to us about what would make, what, how would you explain to someone how to be an effective advocate? That is a great question, and hopefully I have a little bit of points because sometimes I see this firsthand. I would say just be yourself. I mean, these legislators are part-time legislators. They're normal people. Um, some are extremely educated. Um, some are just blue-collar working people. So be yourself. Um, I would also say to um, be very honest. Um, you know, don't try to you know, don't, to lie or just you know, be very direct. Um, especially when you go into a meeting, sometimes they're going to have a lot of stuff going on. So be effective communicator, but do it in a timely manner. Um, respect your time that, that knowing that they're going to have something else going on. I would say also when you go into a meeting, not to say you have to do a lot of homework, but just kind of study up on the person, um, where they're from, you know, kind of how many kids they have, because there might be a certain part to where your family grew up in Sparta, Tennessee, and they're from Sparta, Tennessee, and that might be able to, uh, to spark a conversation uh, between them. Then I would also say to be able to have a difficult conversation. Some of these legislators are not always going to agree with your issue. And if they don't, be respectful. Thank them for their time and let them know if there's any type of more information that you're gonna be able to give them, then, then you're, you're able to do that. And what are some ways folks should prepare for a meeting with a legislator? I mean, obviously you need to make an appointment, you need to give yourself some time, the legislature's moved to a new building, so it's in, it's a fairly large building, so it takes time to walk around. Um, what are some so things some folks should know to how to do that? When JP's talking about be respectful, so you do need to schedule an appointment. Get with their assistant, schedule an appointment. When you schedule an appointment, be on time. Now, there may be an appointment that they have before you that goes over, but be patient. Um, you know, they, they will get out there to you, those, those appointments. Make sure that if you're in, because the building is large, know where you're going. When you get into there, make sure you know where their office is so you can get there and be there on time. I think the thing that um, stumped multiple people um, when they, I've gone and supported them and going to speak to their legislators is the legislator would always listen, but then they'd also ask, so, so what is your ask of me? And that might be something that an individual isn't necessarily prepared to respond to. And so I think that's a really great thing to be prepared, know what your ask is. And it may be, I think you mentioned that not, um, there might not be a certain vote or a certain um, policy that you, you are there specifically you know, to discuss. It may just be you need to make sure that they know um, your story and how disability impacts you and your family and your lives and your community. Um, it, so it may be as simple as I, you know, as things do come up, I need you to remember me, right? And um, need your support of my family and our experience. 